Well, it's been a while since we made a video. Everett, welcome. What's up? So we've been wanting to do something for a long time, both Everett and I, um, and we finally did it. Everett, what'd we do? Uh, we got a Tesla. Got our first Tesla. Woo! So we wanna tell you a little bit about getting that first Tesla and give you some first impressions. Um, so one of the first things we did is we ordered it online on the website, went through, picked all of our options. Uh, so what color did we go with? We went with the gray with the matte black handles. Yeah, went with gray. Um, went with the, the less expensive wheels that get a little better range. I really wanted range and I went with the long range Model 3. Here for a pickup. Yes, sir. Going. What's your name? charging on there yes sir did you guys get a chance to drive one before you bought it no nope. <laughs> awesome so you bought it you bought one without trying it bought it without trying it. thank you so much <laughs> that's a big leap. it really is mm. you go up or down with the sink or you can do it by voice commands it gives you many different ways to do it you can do it by voice commands look at that So what do you think so far? What are some of your first impressions? It is, I mean, it is pretty nice. The stereo system's great. The heated seats are like nothing I've ever seen before. It's just all around well-made, I feel like. Yeah, you know, I, I, I told somebody the other day this. It's better than I thought it was going to be. It's really outstanding. Um, I think one of the coolest things about it is just the ease of charging at home. So one of the things I did is I installed the, the 1450 um, 220 dryer install in the garage and I made it where I can charge the car at home. It'll do about 32 miles an hour of range, uh, which, is, which is great at the house. And all I did was buy the little extend or kind of a adapter that you can buy on Tesla's website. So that went really good. So charging has not been a problem. Ever, what do you think about the supercharging experience? It is really nice. It's so quick, especially those 250, 350 kilowatt stations. And they put them in very well locations, like at a mall, at a Target, somewhere where you can go do something. This is our first time at the Tesla Supercharger in Montgomery, uh, 250 kilowatts, so it's pretty fast. And when we started, it shot up to 250 kilowatts because this is a version 2. But now it's tapered to about 135, which is a... I mean, that's a pretty good number just to chill at, you know? So we're going to go to Target while the Tesla is charging. Alright, so we were in Target for 10 or 15 minutes. We're going to go back to the car and see if it's charged. So real quick, this video is brought to you by the awesome ladies at Southern Cotton Company. Uh, they make some awesome ladies apparel and every once in a while a men's sweatshirt like the one I'm wearing. So I really think the very best part of the car is not necessarily the car. I know that's funny to say it's a premium car. It's something that I've always wanted, but I think really the best part of it is... The software. The software. The car is really smart. The, the software, the autopilot is unreal. So this is how I drive the Tesla. 
no foot on the gas or brake, hands crossed, just chilling, talking to everyone. The ability for it to drive you down the freeway is phenomenal. It really doesn't ever make a mistake on the freeway. It changes lanes for you. It's kind of crazy to be driving down the road and then the car decides it wants to change lanes. It passes and then decides to change back. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Very. I think another cool feature is Summon. Everett was kind of a, oh, yeah. a he was kind of a, a hard dude on Summon. Yeah. He he kind of kept saying it doesn't work good, it doesn't work good. It's but kind of sketchy. It, it was, is kind of sketchy. Yeah, but that first time we did it, did it work? Yeah, it worked pretty good. It worked really good. We parked at the very back of the parking lot, pressed Summon, and that thing drove all the way to the front door. Now, I mean, it jerks around. It's kind of nervous, you know, but it's being safe. I like that it's an EV. There will be lots of EVs that come along but I love the software. I love that there are no buttons in the car. Yeah, so Everett just brought up a good point. This car, now I bought the long range Model 3. This car is freaking fast. I like that by itself. Oh Lord, Jesus. <laughs> things about the car that's super interesting too is just how fast it is yeah ever did that kind of shock you when we got it just when i would hit the gas kind yeah. of yeah you just head would go straight back yeah your head would go straight back mm -hmm. gosh <laughs> i can't even believe that <laughs> <laughs> look at oh. look at Brooklyn laugh. Jeez. <laughs> what do you think about that? What does it have? What makes it? Everett, tell them about the first time I really hit the yeah. gas. So it's just like it doesn't it doesn't take a minute to get going. Like as soon as you hit the gas or whatever you want to call it. Yes. It's well, that's true. It's an yeah. EV, so you're not hitting yeah. the gas. As soon as you hit the accelerator. Yeah. It just takes off. I mean, like, so it fast. is immediate, right? And it and what's my favorite thing to do is to kind of let off the, the accelerator a little and people's heads kind of go forward and then give it full gas and they hit their head in the seat. Mm. I've done that to you a couple of times. Oh, God. Mm. He did that on purpose. <laughs> oh, God. Mm. He did that on purpose. <laughs> what do you think when I do that? I'm just like, I don't want to die today. Like. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy fast. Like, I can't express... I've never been in a car. The only thing I've been in that feels like that is a plane. Like when you know when you first take off in a plane and it kind of puts you in the back of the seat. That's but then, it, but then it's like really quiet in the process and it's really smooth. Doesn't make much noise and it's not jerky at all. So. I do think that's interesting that when you hit the gas, there's no noise other than wind. Yeah, so it's been really cool to experience not having a gas vehicle. You know, there is that, that range anxiety idea is a real thing. I've noticed that I, I do experience a bit of wondering, like, am I going to be able to make it there? Can I find a charging station? I went to a town the other day and there were four charging stations. None of them were Tesla related and none of the four worked. So now I'm at the New Albany, Mississippi charging station and you see that I'm charging it for free. Didn't cost a penny, was super easy to plug up to. You can see it's doing 30 miles an hour. So it'll be fully charged in four hours. So I could just leave it here and come back and get it in a little while. And this is free. Now on a supercharger, it'd be much faster. So you kind of have to think a little bit different than when you can just pull into any gas station anywhere and charge. I mean, and buy gas. But I will say one of the coolest things is waking up every morning and the car's fully charged. You can go wherever you want to go and it's extremely cheap. Yesterday, we, we drove, used about 20% of the range, um, went about 40 miles away and 40 miles back. After charging, it looks like the car used, it was about $1.90 to charge, and in gas would have been about 10 bucks. Um, one of the first things we did when we got it was we made a, um, a trip from Birmingham, I mean, uh, Memphis, Tennessee, all the way over to Montgomery, Alabama. Um, had to charge in Birmingham, which was great. 
uh, the, the supercharging experience is outstanding. You plug in, it does its thing. When it's ready, the app lets you know that it's ready, and then you just jump in and go on to your next stop. I think one of the best things about the car is you can put a destination in, and it tells you everywhere to stop to charge. It basically routes it out for you so you'll never run out of charge. Don't you think yeah. that's good? So periodically I'll make a video here and there when Everett and I and Sarah go on a, a, a road trip here and there. So we hope you enjoy and hope you can join us. Thank you.